New Zealand's Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern is due to give birth tomorrow. And while becoming a parent can be a life changer, Ms Ardern will have some extra challenges. Nevertheless, the majority of the nation is confident she'll meet the challenge. Ms Zoe Ford reports from New Zealand. Wherever Jacinda Ardern goes, well wishes follow. Good luck for what's to come. This agricultural fair at Hamilton was the New Zealand leader's last public event before her baby's due date. Very well. <laughs> and just as she's done for the past nine months, Ms Ardern seemed to easily combine pregnancy with prime ministership. Not everybody agrees with her politics, um, but yeah, I appreciate that she's doing, yeah, what she's doing and um, doing it well. So yeah. Lots of ladies work it right up until they have babies. I know lots of my friends did. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. The 37-year-old is only the second world leader to have a baby while in office, and most people here expect her to take it in her stride. I've got a strong sense that New Zealanders just see this as uh, a, a life event, not something that's going to particularly affect my job, uh, and uh, have therefore just been wishing me well, which is really kind. This is a part of New Zealand where people voted strongly in favour of the Nationals, the now opposition. But it's clear from the reception that Jacinda Ardern has received today that she's warmly welcomed. I'm a national supporter, but I, I, I quite like her. I think she'll, she's doing fine so far. New Zealand is no stranger to being at the forefront of political equality. It was the first nation to give all women the vote in 1893. In 1947, Mabel Howard joined the Cabinet. Jenny Shipley became the first female Prime Minister in 1997. Helen Clark led the nation next. And now Jacinda Ardern is the third woman in the top job. I wouldn't say that we're some kind of nirvana in terms of women in politics. They still face a lot of criticism that perhaps men wouldn't face. But I would say certainly we are a country that is a little bit more comfortable with women political leaders than some around the world, including Australia. The PM's acknowledged she'll only be able to do it all with lots of support around her, from her family, the parliament, and the nation. Mazoe Ford, ABC News, Auckland.